Good morning, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents a special morning presentation of Inside Pitch. The 1972 postseason is on the air. We are at Kansas City Municipal Stadium. This is game two of the American League Championship Series between the New York Yankees and the Kansas City Royals. The Royals lead this series one game to none after a marathon first game. And we have had four extra inning games in a row in this postseason lately. I'm getting bushed, but so far these games are, but I know you guys are loving it because the excitement is just always there. And people are already saying this 1972 postseason might be the best one I've done yet. Maybe even eclipsing 1979. Well, who knows? We still got a few, we still got a long way to go. We ain't done yet by any means. Brian B., Philip Reynolds, Joe and Pico, and Vita Productions are first to join us here at Municipal Stadium. So we have a big one here today as we've got two big pitchers ready to go. Game two, the Yankees trying to tie the series before heading to the Bronx. Royals would love to take a 2-0 series lead, meaning the Yankees cannot win this series in the Bronx. We will see what happens today as we are ready to get going. Brian Patterson and Jimmy Jam join us here at Municipal Stadium. So if you guys are ready to go, let's get started. Starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals tonight is Dick Drago. Dick Drago has a record of no wins and one loss uh, for the postseason at this time. So he gets the call today. And the Yankees are ready to try to tie this series up. And, uh, well, let me just get some stats here ready to go in case I need them. And we're ready to go. So Drago will go ahead and pitch. Municipal Stadium, Pitcher's Park. But you wouldn't know from the first game we played, minus two to strikeouts, minus one to home runs, but only 57 were hit there. But in the postseason, anything is possible. Phoenix Knight and Sports Time Machine, Utah Mike, join us here at Municipal Stadium. Let's go to the top of the first. Leading off for the Yankees will be second baseman, Horace Clark. He is batting 273 for the playoffs. We're going to use blue, white, and white dice. Royals are the home team. The fans here at Municipal Stadium hoping the Royals can move on to their first World Series on the network. The Yankees are trying to make their fourth World Series on the network. They are, of course, 2-1, and one, having beaten the Dodgers in 81. Um beating the Dodgers in 81, uh, winning, beating, uh, winning the 1988 World Series as well, and, of course, losing the 85, I believe, they, I think it was the 85 Series they lost. I have to check. I, the Yankees just go to World Series once every other replay. Don't ask me why. Uh, let's go to the first pitch. Drago, 1-6, strikeout four, cold strike three on Clark. He got him. First strikeout for Drago. He did have 135 of them in 72. The next battle will be the catcher, Thurman Munson. Just returning from injury. He is one for 10 for the playoffs. Drago. A 2-3 strikeout. 18 is high. Munson. 5-5. Five, five, and that's a line drive hit right to the shortstop. But Patek is there. Two away. And now here's the center fielder, Bobby Mercer, who is batting 233 for the playoffs, but he does have three home runs. Phoenix Knight says he is in the middle of an off-channel 1991 payoff pitch replay. You should enjoy payoff pitch. It is an excellent game. Jurego, 6-6, error on a grounder. Mercer, 6-1. That's a power hit to right field. That's a 14. And, well... There's not going to be a ground. There's not going to be an error. There's actually not going to be a ground ball because that ball just pretty much left uh, the pretty much left the park. Kaboom! That ball is high. That ball is deep, and that ball is gone. Home run! Bobby Mercer is fourth against the righty. A home run, eleven to sixteen. That's a fourteen. It's out of here. The adjustment does not include the here. Only two here. 
It wouldn't have made a difference. Even if it was a home run 11 to 15, it wouldn't have mattered. That is gone. Home run. The Yankees jump out in front. Bobby Mercer blasts a home run. That one's over the center field fence, actually. All right, with a right field fence. And it's one nothing Yankees. Mercer, it's his fourth home run of the playoffs. And now we'll see the left fielder, Roy White. He's batting 286 for the playoffs. He does have a home run. That was just all Mercer right there. Drago put it right where it needed to do, but Mercer just powered it out. Drago, 1-1, one, one, wild pitch, ball one. 2-6, hit by pitch, three, plunk, ouch, and he will hit White. So now a hit batter. So after two quick outs by Drago, Mercer hits a home run, and now White goes to first on a, on a hit batter. And now that'll bring up the first baseman, Ron Bloomberg, who, of course, will be the first ever designated hitter. Uh, Bloomberg, though, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take him out. He's batting 292 with three home runs right now. Felipe Alou was the original starter. He was hurt. Alou is still out for at least two, is out for this game and the next one. He can return for game four. I'm not decided I'm going to bring him back. Strategy roll, nothing on the 11. White will stay put. Drago, 2-2, two, two, possible error. Bloomberg, 1-2. That's a fly ball hit to right field. Going after that is Richie Scheinbloom. His error rating is a nine. That's a three, and that's going to pump out of his glove, and that's going to be an error for Shine Bloom. And that is a big error. So now we got to roll to see if White will score. It's a fly ball to right. White's base running rating is a four with two outs. A one to four. This is going to be a three base error. And it is. White will come around, and he will score on a bad play by Shine Bloom. That is a that was a two, and Bloomberg will get to second base. And it's two nothing Yankees. Stadium groans. <sighs> so that's gonna be an E9 on Shine Bloom. He make it pops out of his glove. And Bloomberg will go to second base on the air. Or it, it's a three. It's good enough for Mer for uh, White to come around and score. And it's two nothing Yankees. So right, and that's the first error already on the Royals, and they're off to a tough start here. And now we will see the right fielder Johnny Collison. He is batting 0.95, but he does have a home run. So the Royals are off to a tough start. Strategy roll, nothing on the 17. Drago will pitch. Drago, 6-1, strikeout. 17 is high. Collison, 1-6. That's a power hit to right field. That's a one. And against the righties, that will be a single. Single to right. Bloomberg, base runner, two. Single to right. Let's see. Plus, and with two outs, becomes a three. Plus one, a four. A one to four. Bloomberg will score. And he will. Bloomberg will score from second. Collison on it first. It's an RBI base hit. Yankees now 3-0 here in the top of the first. Stadium groans. Ugh. As Jim Connell joins us here at Municipal Stadium. So the Royals are falling apart here in the first inning. And now we'll see the third baseman, Bernie Allen. He is batting 160 for the postseason. He does have a home run. Two quick outs, and then a home run, a hit batter, an error in right field, and now a single. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 15. Collison will bat. Drago will pitch. 5-5. Five, five, walk one. That's ball four. And Drago is shell-shocked. And they got to go talk to him on the mound and calm him down a bit here. And now here's the shortstop, Gene Michael. Michael is batting 160. He also had, I'm sorry, batting 115 for the postseason. So runners at first and second, second still two outs. Strategy roll, nothing on the four. Collison and Allen will stay put. Drago with the pitch. Drago, 4-4. That's a blank. 
Michael, 1-1, one, one, and that's grounded to short. That'll get handled by Freddie Pottek. The throw is going to go to second against Allen, and that retires aside. What a crazy first inning. Three runs, two hits, one hit batter, one error, and one walk. And the Yankees have taken a 3 nothing lead here very early. But we all know that no lead is safe and inside pitch. Starting pitcher for the New York Yankees is their number two starter, Mel Stottlemyer. One win, no losses, and one no decision. Stottlemyer, however, has been very, very tough uh, in this postseason so far. Steeler fan Matt joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Good to see Mr. Matt. Bottom of the first, leading off for the Royals will be the shortstop, Freddie Patek. He's batting 200 for the playoffs. Stottlemyre, 6-2, possible error. Patek, 4-1, fly ball right field. Going after that is Johnny Collison. His ever rating is a 2. That's a 17. He'll make the catch, and that's out number 1. And now the center fielder, Amos Otis, one of the more underrated players in baseball history. He's batting 273 for the playoffs. He does have a home run. Stottlemyre, 1 2, strikeout 8. That's high. Otis, 6 1, and that's fly to left. Roy White will come under it and grab it for out number two. And now comes the right fielder, Richie Scheinbloom, who couldn't make the play out there in right field. He's batting 286 for the playoffs. Stottlemyre, 3 2 against the switch left, walk plus 10. And that 15 is actually good. That 17 is going to be too high. Scheinbloom, 4 6, and he grounds it right back to Stottlemyre. He'll get that, and he'll throw it over to first. And retire the side. That's kind of demoralizing. One, two, three for the Royals. Three nothing Yankees after one. We go to the top of the second. Leading off for the Yankees will be the pitcher, Mel Stottlemyre. Batted 272. Not too bad. Drago, 5 4. Walk, 18 is high. Stottlemyre. 2-5, and he grounds it right back to the pitcher. Drago will go ahead and get that and underhand it to first for the out. Next batter is Clark. Clark is 0-for-1. Drago, 4-3. That is a blank. Clark, 1-6, and that's fly to right field. This time, Shine Bloom will make that catch, and that's out number two. And now the batter is Munson. Munson's still looking for his first hit since big coming off the injury list. Drago, 4-3, blank. Munson, 2-5. He won't get it here. Fly ball to right field once again. And Shine Bloom will get to it. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Drago as he bounces back after a tough first inning. But pretty much only one of those runs was actually earned. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Leading off for the Royals, the first baseman, John Mayberry. Mayberry is batting 250 for the postseason. He has a home run. That was the only, it was a grand slam. Jeremy Brooks joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Stottlemyer, 4 3, error on a throw. Mayberry, 6 4. Nope, that's going to be a fly to left. Roy White will take his time moving over there and getting it for the out. Next up is the left fielder, sweet, Lou Pinella. Pinella is batting 136. He is struggling for the Royals. His normal average in 72 was 312. Stottlemyre, 3-5, hit by pitch, 16 is high. Pinella, 1-5, that's a base hit. He'll hit that one into center field. Pinella will get a hit and hold it first. And now we'll see the catcher, Ed Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is 4 for 19 for the postseason. Infield, a double play depth. Pinella will stay where he is. Stottlemyre will go ahead and pitch. Stottlemyer, 6-6, six, six, blank. Kirkpatrick, 4-3, ground out, second base. 1-1-2. One, one, 
Shortstop pivot Michael Zero. One to two. It's a double play. And Pinnell will be thrown out at second base and Kirkpatrick will make first. And that is, of course, a fielder's choice. And now the third baseman, Paul Shaw. He is batting 250 for the postseason. He does have a home run. Strategy for Kirkpatrick, and he will stay where he is. Stottlemyre with the deal. Stottlemyre, 2 6. That's a pitcher result. Righty, 1 to 12. A base hit up the middle. That's a six. It's a single. Kirkpatrick with a base running rating of four with two outs. He will make third. So Shaw will get a single right past Stottlemyre. And now runners at the corners with two outs. And the next batter will be the second baseman, Cookie Rojas, who was actually the hero of game one with the base hit. Uh, he's batting 273 for the postseason, which is around his average. So he is doing his job. Strategy roll, nothing on the two. Nobody's moving. Kirkpatrick on it third. Shaw on it first. Rojas, you got to kind of think with after a three-run first inning, the Royals got to get something here. Stottlemyre. 2-5, error on a grounder. Rojas, 6-4. That is a ground ball. It's a ground ball to second base. It's hit to Horace Clark. His error rating is a 4. That's a 5. He bobbles it, picks it up, throws to first, and gets the out. Almost an error, but almost only counts in horseshoes. No runs in, no runs in a couple of hits for the Royals. They strand a couple, 3 nothing after 2. Clark almost makes a big time mistake, but he he can, he got it and threw to first. Almost only counts in hand grenades and nuclear weapons. Uh, yeah, that's true too. Joe Turney joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Good to see you, Joe. Top of the third, leading off for the Yankees will be Bobby Mercer, and he had a bomb his first time up. Drago. 6-5, blank, Mercer, 5-2, that's a power hit to right field, that is a 19, but this time against a righty, that's going to be a little too high, and Shinebloom is going to go deep to the deep to the track, but he will make the catch, and that's out number one, Mercer almost had another one. Next batter is White. Roy White, I feel one of the more underrated players in Yankee history. He was hit by a pitch his first time up. Funkin' Boxing TV with Sir Ron 61 once again joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Drago, 4-1 against the switch left. Walk six, that's ball four. White will trot to first. So he reaches first base again, this time on a walk. And now here's Bloomberg. Bloomberg reached on an error his first time up. Infield is at double play. White at 23 stolen bases. He's not going anywhere this time. Drago. Drago, 2-5. Error on a throw. Bloomberg, 3-6. Nope, that's going to be a fly ball to left. Lou Pinello will go ahead and get it. And White will go back to second. We'll go back to first, I should say. Next batter is Collison. Collison got a base hit his first time up. White on it first. Nothing happening on the 10. Drago trying to keep it where it is right now. Royals lead this series one game to none. Drago, 3-1, blank. Collison, 5-1. That's a ground out to third base taken care of there by Shaw. He's going to throw to first to get Collison, and that will retire the side. Nothing across except to walk. We go to the bottom of the third. Yankees already up 3-0 as the Royals imploded in the first inning of this game. Leading off for the Royals will be the pitcher, Dick Drago. Only an 0-59 average in 72, but he did have five RBIs. Stottlemyre will pitch. Stottlemyre, 4-6, blank. Drago, 1-4, swing and a miss, struck the out. And that is the first strikeout for Stottlemyre. He had 110 of them in 72. Here's Patek. Patek is 0 for 1. Stottlemyre, 3-5. Hit by pitch. 5. That is high. Patek, 
One four, and he hits one to left field, but Roy White will get plenty of room and make the play. Two down. And now here's Otis. Otis is 0 for 1. Stottlemyre with the pitch. Stottlemyre, 1 3, strikeout. 17 is high. Otis, 3 5, and that is a grounder to third. Bernie Allen will go ahead and get that, throw it over. And the inning is over. One, two, three inning for Stottlemyre. Three nothing Yankees after three. Yankees trying to make their fourth World Series in the network. They are two and one in the series. On the network when it comes to World Series. Not surprising the Yankees are always one of the, are not surprising the Yankees really are the best team on the network. Not surprising. Top of the fort, Drago back on the mound. Leading off for the Yanks will be Bernie Allen, and he walked his first time up. Drago, 5-1, blank. Allen, 1-2, fly out to center. Otis will go ahead and get that. Next batter is Michael. Michael 0 for 1. Drago with the pitch. Drago, 6-5, that's a blank. Michael, 4-2, and that's a base hit. He'll hit that one past third. Michael will get himself a single. He's been hitting a little better lately. That will bring up the pitcher, Stottlemyre. He's a good hitter. Corners are in, expecting a bunt. And let's see, bunt rating is a four. He does get the bunt sign, and but he can hit the ball pretty well, though. Um, hmm. I'll bunt him over. Bunt is on. Drago, 6-1. Strikeout. That 14 is going to be too high since bunt ratings on a strike. Since bunt ratings have the strikeouts. So Stottlemyre is going to go ahead and he'll do the bunt. So let's see who lays down the bunt. And that is bunted to the third baseman. And he is in. And that's going to be a successful bunt. That's going to be a successful cycle, successful bunt to first base, the third base. Picked up by Shaw. The throw will go to first for the out. Two down. And Michael will reach second base. So a nice bunt by Stoudemire moves a runner into, into a scoring position for Clark. Dan Atkins joins us here at Municipal Stadium. So a nice bunt by Stoudemire. Michael on at second. Two outs. Nothing on the strat here. Michael stays where he is. Drago will pitch to Clark. Drago, 2-6, hit by pitch, 4, plunk, ouch, he hits Clark. He hit Clark, that's the second hit batter by Drago, so from now on, any other hit by, uh, hit by pitch, pitchers are rejected. And yes, the uh, 66, and yet the 65 brawl comes into play on the rare play. So he hits Clark, now the batter is Munson. And now they're going to go talk to Drago again and say, come on here, settle down. Munson is 0 for 2, still looking for his first hit since being injured. Two men down, runners at first and second, fans here at Municipal Stadium not liking what they see so far. Strategy, nothing on the five. Drago will pitch. Drago, 2-1. That's at the park. Municipal Stadium. 4-1, base hit, center field, Munson finally gets a hit. With two outs, Michael becomes a base runner, four. Single to center, plus one. A one to five, Michael will score, and he won't. They hold him at third base. As center fielder Amos Otis guns that in there and keeps Michael from scoring. And that could be huge. But the bases are loaded. Yes, that is a house rule, Phoenix Knight. That is a house rule, and I do agree with it. You can't be hitting batters all over the place. That is a house rule of mine, yes. And I think that's actually, I don't, is that, and I think that's an official rule in baseball. No, there is an official rule in baseball. Because I, that, that, I know that's not an official rule in baseball, but it is a house rule, yes. So bases are loaded for Bobby Mercer. Mercer is one for two with a bomb. Mercer a chance here to blow this game wide open. Fans here at Municipal Stadium hoping that Drago can go ahead and get it done. 
Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Drago sets up against Mercer. Fans are hoping Drago can get it done. Mercer has already got a home run today. Drago, 4-6. That's a pitcher result. Lefty, 1-18 is a base hit up the middle. That's a four, and that's going to be a single, and two runs are going to come in. Michael will come in to score. Clark will come in to score. Munson. Munson's got the speed. He'll make third. Mercer to first. It's 5 nothing Yankees. Stadium barfs. Blech. Two RBI single by Bobby Mercer. And now the batter is white and the Royals are getting some action in the bullpen already. White is 0 for 2, is 0 for 0 actually, got hit by a pitch and walked. Two outs, Yankees a 5-0 lead here in the top of the fourth. Strategy rolls are still on though, and nothing on the 17. Munson on at third, Mercer on at first. Drago with the pitch. Drago 3-1, that's a blank. White, 4-5, and this one is popped up. That's a pop fly ball to third base. Shaw says he'll get it. He'll make the catch and retire the side. Two runs, three hits, a sacrifice bunt, and a hit batter. Yankees 5 nothing here and only going into the bottom of the fourth inning. You think the Yankees are trying to make a statement right now after that tough loss in game one? Bottom of the fourth here. The fans here at Municipal Stadium not happy at the moment. Still a long way to go. Richie Scheinbloom leads off for KC. He's 0 for 1. Stottlemyre now has a five-run lead to work with. Stottlemyre, 4-2. Strikeout, 18 is high. Scheinbloom, 3-3. Three, three, and that's fly to center field. Mercer will come under that and grab it. Next batter is Mayberry. Mayberry is 0 for 1. Stottlemyre, 1 4. That's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 1 6. And Mayberry will hit one. That's going to be a double into left field. It splits the gap. Left fielder White will get that and throw that in. And Mayberry's on second. So a one out double gets Mayberry into second base. This is a very big inning now. The Royals got to get some runs. Here comes Pinella. Pinella got a base hit his first time up. Strategy rolls are still on and nothing happening. Mayberry stays at second. Stottlemyre setting in on Pinella. And here comes the pitch. Stottlemyre, 4-4. Four, four, against the righty. Strikeout, 19 is high. Pinella, 1-4. And Pinella will come through with a double into left field as well. And that'll get a run in. Mayberry comes around from second. He will score. Pinella gets the second. It's 5-1. to one. Here come the Royals. Two straight doubles in a row. And here comes Kirkpatrick. He's 0-1. for 1. Now a 5-1 to one ball game. Pinella on at second. Strategy. Nothing on the four. He'll stay where he is. Stottlemyre. 6-1, that's a blank. Kirkpatrick, 1-4. That one's lifted to right. And that's going to be Collison making the catch for out number two. Pinella, base runner three, hit to right, minus one. And Collison, minus one. The only way Pinella can get to third is on a one. And he'll hold the second. So two outs, and now here's Shaw. Shaw got a base hit his first time up. 5-1 to one Yankees now as the Royals trying to get some more runs. Big run at second base to get a little closer. Strategy, nothing on the two. Pinella will stay where he is. Stottlemyre, 3-5, hit by pitch. No, 17 is high. Shawl, 1-2, and that's a ground ball right back to Stottlemyre. He'll get that, and he will throw it over and get the out. One run, two hits. And the Royals now make it 5-1 to one after 4.
Top of the fifth. Drago says he can go again. Really not all his fault. Ron Bloomberg leads off for the Yankees. He is 0 for 2, but reached on an error and scored. Drago with the pitch. Drago, 1-5, strikeout, 3, swing and a miss, struck the mound. And that is the second K for Drago, one down. Next up is Collison. Collison, 1 for 2. Drago, a 1-3, home run result against the righty. Collison needs a 14. That's an 8. That probably might just be it for Drago. And actually needs a 14, but minus one makes him a 13. But that's an eight anyway. It won't matter. Kaboom! That ball is high! That ball is deep! And that ball is gone! Home run, Johnny Collison! His second of the playoffs. Stadium groans. Yeah, of course I say it's a pitcher's park. We already got two home runs in this ball game. It's 6-1 Yankees. And now the batter is Bernie Allen. Drago due to bat second. They're going to see if he can get through this inning. But now a 6-1 Yankee lead here on the top of the fifth. That first inning really did the Royals in. Drago will go ahead and pitch. Drago, 4-5. That's a range play. Allen, 6-6. Six, six, fly ball to right field. Going after that is Shine Bloom. His range is a 3. That's a 5. And that's going to be a double for Bernie Allen as he hits it over his head. Allen at second base. After a double by him, here comes Michael. Michael is one for two. If Drago allows another run, I will yank him. Six to one Yankees. And right now the fans here at Municipal Stadium not happy at all seeing the Yankees just come roaring back on the Royals here after that first game. Strategy rolls are still active. And nothing on the six. Allen stays where he is. Drago with the pitch. Drago, 6-2. Range play at the park. Municipal. 6-2, it's a ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Paul Shaw. His range is a two, and he's got it. Nice play by Shaw. He'll go ahead and throw the first for the out, and Allen, he will stay at second base, two down. That was a very big play by Shaw. But that could have probably brought in a run. Here's Stottlemyre. Stottlemyre is 0 for 2. He'll bat. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 13. Drago will go ahead and pitch. Drago, 3-6 against the righty. That will be an automatic out. And it's a fly ball to center field. Amos Otis will get to that one easily. And retire the side. One run, two hits. A solo bomb by Johnny Collison. His second bomb of the postseason. It's 6-1 to one Yankees going in the bottom of the fifth. Leading off for the Royals will be Cookie Rojas. He's 0 for 1. Stottlemyre, he'll go ahead and deal. Stottlemyre, 2 5. Error on a grounder. Rojas, 2 2. And that is a ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Bernie Allen. His error rating is an 11. That's an 8. That's going to eat him up, and that's going to be an error. Bernie Allen will commit an error there. That will be an E5. First error on the Yankees in the ball game. And now we'll see if the Royals can do anything with it. Dick Drago is the next batter. That will be it for him. A very tough game for him. And not all of it his fault. And coming on to pinch hit for the Royals will be Steve Hovley. A 270 average, three homers and 24 RBIs. Hovley will go up against Stottlemyre. Rojas on it first. Infield is at double play depth. Strategy rolls are still on, and nothing happening on the 15. Stottlemyre will go ahead and pitch. Stottlemyre, 4-4 against the lefty. It's a blank. Hovley, 
two, four, and that's a ground ball to short. One, one, two. Second base pivot, Clark, zero, one to two. It's a double play. They got it. Two outs. Hubley grounds out into the 6-4-3. Another demoralizing play for the Royals right now. And now the batter is Patek. Patek is 0 for 2. Stottlemyre right now pitching a gem. Stottlemyre. 6-6. Six, six, blank. Patek. 6-6. Six, six, base hit. He'll hit that one past third. How Big was that double play. Patek gets his first hit of the game. It'll bring up Otis. Otis is 0 for 2. Strategy rolls are still on. And Patek stays at first. Stottlemyer will go ahead and pitch. Stottlemyer, 1-2, strikeout. 13 is high. Otis, 2-5. And that's fly to left field. Roy White says he'll get it. And he'll make the play. And retire the side. No runs, a hit, and an error. And the Yankees have a 6-1 to one lead here after 5. As right now, the Royals are just not getting a break. We go to the top of the 6th. Top of the order for the Yankees. Horace Clark leads off. He is 0-2 but got hit by a pitch. Royals do need a pitcher. And they are going to go with, that's a five-run lead. So, mm, I think you maybe want to save a five-run lead. So, in this case, it's almost a mop-up. Switch, right, and switch. And let me see what I want to do with that. I think we're going to bring in the lefty. Coming on to pitch for the Royals is going to be Tom Bergmeier. Six wins, two losses, nine saves, a 4-2-3 ERA on 72. Bergmeier actually has a win. He was the winning pitcher in game one of this series. But Tom Bergmeier, the lefty, they'll pitch to Clark. Top of the six, 6-1 six, Yankees. Bergmeier, 2-4, error on a grounder. Clark. 5-5. Five, five. That is a ground ball. It's a ground ball. The second, that ball is hit to Cookie Rojas. His error rating is a four. That's a three, and he's going to make an error as it eats him up, and Clark's going to be safe. That's an E4. That is the second error on the Royals in this game. And and Rojas didn't make many errors. His Ray rating is a four, but that's a three, and the Royals just cannot get any help. Bergmeier can't believe it, and now the batter is Munson. Munson one for three. He finally got his first hit since coming off an injury. Infield double play depth. Strategy rolls are now off. Pitcher versus batter. Bergmeier, 6-5. Range play at the park. Municipal, 6-1. That is a blink. We will have a rare play instead with men on. 61. Sinking liner, 2. Sinking liner, 2. Sinking liner to left field, which fielder dives for. Resolve as a range play for the fielder. Well, the left fielder is Lou Pinella. His range is a three. He's got it. What a play. If caught, has a chance to double up the closest runner. Roll 1d6 versus base runner of runner. So Horace Clark's base running rating is a three. A one to three, Clark will get back to first. And he does, and he's going to be doubled off. Two outs. What a play by Lou Pinella. He dies for, he is fine, by the way, no injury check. So what a play by Pinella, and he'll double off, he'll double off Clark. So that is an F7-3 double play. Two down. So Clark throw, doubled off at first base, two away. The batter now is Mercer. And Mercer is two for three, a, a home run and a single. 6-1 Yankees. If he doesn't make that play, that's an extra run. Bergmeier will pitch. 
Bergmeier, 5-2. It's a blank. Mercer, 4-6. Base hit, center field. Mercer now is really coming in. He was struggling, but he's three for four today. Single for Mercer. Here comes White. White is 0 for 1, but got hit by a pitch and walked. Two men down, 6 to 1 Yankees, top of the sixth. Strategy rolls are off. Bergmeier, 2 6. That's a blank. White, 5 2, and that's a base hit past the shortstop. Mercer's got good speed, but not good enough. He'll hold at second base. Now two straight hits, and now here's Bloomberg. Bloomberg is 0 for 3, reached on an error, but Bloomberg has been hot of, of late. Two men down. Yankees trying to maybe get some more. The fans here at Municipal Stadium, some are already purchasing tickets for their trip to the Bronx, and probably for all three games. Mercer on at second, White on at first. Bergmeier with the pitch. Bergmeier, 4 1, strikeout, 12 is high. Bloomberg, 2 2, and that's a ground out to second base. Rojas will go ahead and get that. He's going to throw to first for the out, and the inning is over. And probably the Royals are lucky they didn't give up any runs. No runs, two hits, one error. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. Stottlemyre. Has a lot of room here to work with against the Royals. Richie Scheinbloom leads off. He is 0 for 2. Stottlemyre trying to get his second win of the postseason. Stottlemyre, 2-1, walk 2. That's ball 4. That's not a good way to start the inning. Scheinbloom will get the first. Only the first walk issued by Stottlemyre in this game. He had 72 of them in 72. Here's Mayberry. Mayberry got a double his first time up. Infield double play. Strategy rolls are still off. Shine Bloom on it first. Stottlemyre, 2-5. Error on a grounder. Mayberry, 3-3. Three, three. That's a ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Bloomberg. His error rating is a 15. That's an 11, and it's going to handcuff him as well, and everyone's going to be safe. Wow, both teams not playing good defense. That's going to be an error on Bloomberg. It's an E3. Second error on the Yankees. So both teams have made two errors in this ball game. And now the Royals have a chance to get back in it. Here's Pinella. Pinella's two for two, a single and a double. Maybe both teams are, were partying a little too hard last night. Still nobody out. Bottom of the six. Six to one Yankees. Royals lead the series one game to none. Stottlemyre, 2-5, error on a grounder. Pinella, 2-4, and that's not an error. It's a slow hit ball to the shortstop. Both runners will move. Pinella's got good speed. Base running rating is a three. Michael's got it. He throws to first, and Pinella is safe. And the bases are loaded. That'll go as an infield single for Lou Pinella. And the bases are now loaded for Ed Kirkpatrick. And the fans here at Municipal Stadium have suddenly gotten very loud. Pinella's three for three. He was coming into the game batting 136. He's raised his average a bit. But now they'll pitch to Kirkpatrick. Infield is going to stay at double play depth. You're trying to get outs here. Six to one Yankees. But Kirkpatrick can make this game interesting again. Stottlemyre looking in. Fans here at Municipal Stadium are loud once more. Stottlemyre will go ahead and make the pitch. Stottlemyre, 2-1, walk, 17. That is high. Kirkpatrick, 6-6, six, six, and it's a fly ball to center field. Now that's going to be caught by Mercer. Kirkpatrick has a sacrifice fly of two. He will not bring in Scheinbloom that way. Scheinbloom, base runner two. Center fielder Mercer, minus one. Scheinbloom can only score on a one. He'll hold. Wow, Kirkpatrick gets a fly out to center and cannot bring in a run. One down.
And now the batter is Shaw. Shaw is one for two. Shaw will have to bat. Six to one Yankees, but the Royals trying to get something going here. Stottlemyre trying to get a pitch out of the jam. Stottlemyre will go ahead and he will pitch. Stottlemyre, 1-1, one, one, that's a blank. Shaw, 4-3, and that's a fly ball to center field. That's going to be caught by Mercer. For out number two, Shaw, a sacrifice fly rating of one. And he will bring in Shinebloom this time. Shine Bloom will score. Mayberry, a base running rating of one. He will stay at second base automatically, but it's now six to two. As the Royals get one back. And now here's Rojas. Rojas is 0 for 2, but reached on an error his last time up. Mayberry stays at second. Pinella on at first. Strategy rolls are back on now. Nothing on the 13th. Stottlemyre will concentrate on Rojas. Fans here, Roja, hoping here Rojas can come through with a big hit. Stottlemyre. 1 3, strikeout. 11 is high. Rojas. 3 3. It's a power hit to right field. That's a 3, and against the righty, it's going to be a base hit. But will it score Mayberry? With two outs, base runner two. And that is a that is a hit to right field. So that is going to be a zero there as the right fielder. Collison's got a good arm. So Mayberry will only be able to score on a two. And he won't to hold him at third. So Rojas gets a base hit but can't bring in another run. And now we'll see a pinch hitter for Tom Bergmeier. And the Royals have to go to the bench. And coming on to bat for the Royals is going to be Carl Taylor. 265 average, no homers, 11 RBIs. But his job is to at least maybe get a hit. Bases loaded once again, but two outs now. In the bottom of the sixth inning, six to two. Carl Taylor now coming on to try to get a big hit here. Stoudemire looking in on Taylor. Stoudemire has some high leverage finally. Fans here, Municipal Stadium hoping Taylor can come through with a big hit. Nothing on the. That's a 20. Stoudemire fires to first, and Rojas will get back. Stoudemire would have picked him off on a one. But now Stottlemyre will look at Taylor. Once again, the fans are loud. Stottlemyre will pitch. 5-1. That's a blank. Taylor. 4-2. And it's a ground ball to second base. Picked up there by Clark. Clark's going to take it. Throw to first. And the inning is over. The Royals only get one out of that. Stadium groans. <sighs> One run, two hits, one error, sacrifice fly, and a walk. That was a very good chance for the Royals, and they could not get more than in one. It's six to two after six. Top of the seventh. Leading off for the Yankees will be Johnny Collison. He's having a good game today. Came into the game batting 095. He has a home run and a single. Royals got to go to the bullpen. And they're going to bring out the pitch. Coming on to pitch for the Royals is going to be Al Fitzmorris. Two wins, five losses, three saves, a 3.74 ERA. Fitzmorris does have a save and a hold. In the postseason. So Fitzmorris coming on to pitch now against Collison. Top of the seventh, 6 2 Yankees. Fitzmorris, 6 5. Against the lefty, that's an automatic out. And it will be a ground out to short, handled there by Patek. And over to first it goes. Next batter is Allen. Allen is one for two, a double and a walk. Fitzmorris, 
One six, strike out one, swing and a miss, struck him out. Nice K by Fitzmorris, two away. And now Michael. Michael is one for three. Fitzmorris, he'll set up and deal. Fitzmorris, four, five. That's a blank, not tired. Michael, two, four, and that's a ground ball hit the third base. Shaw will get that, take his time, toss it over, and for the out. And that is a nice job by Al Fitzmorris. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. Tomorrow night, we go back to the friendly confines of Wrigley Field for Game 2 of the National League Championship Series between the Houston Astros and the Chicago Cubs. Larry Durker will be pitching for the Astros, and Burt Hooten will be going for the Cubs. The Astros lead that series one game to none. Pretty much a must-win game for the Cubs. You don't want to go to the Dome down 0-2. So that will be tomorrow night, Durker and Hooten, Astros and the Cubs, Game two of the NLCS, that is tomorrow night. Bottom of the seventh here, Yankees lead 6-2. to two. Royals lead the series one game to none. Stottlemyre can pitch to three more batters before he tires, and they're going to leave him out there. He's pitching very well. Freddie Patek leads off for the Royals. He's one for three. 6-2 Yankees. Fans here at Municipal Stadium hoping the Royals can continue chipping away at the lead, but they got to keep the Yankees from scoring more runs. Stottlemyre, 2-4, blank. Patek, 6-6, six, six, base hit, right past third. Patek gets his second hit of the game on the leadoff man is on base. Now the batter is Otis. Otis is 0-3. Strategy rolls are once again off. Stottlemyre. Four, five, strikeout seven. That's too high. Otis, two, four, and that's a ground ball to short. Three, three. And of course, they're double play depth. Four. Second base pivot, Clark, zero, one to four. It's a double play. They got it. Two outs. Otis grounds out into the six, four, three, and once again, the Royals really not getting much breaks. And now, Shine Bloom. Scheinblum is 0 for 2 with a walk. Stottlemyer. 1 6. That's a walk. The 15 is good. That's ball four. Scheinblum will trot to first. Another walk by Scheinblum. Now Stottlemyer is tired. He says, Let me pitch. I do to lead off the eighth inning. And they're going to leave Stottlemyer out there. And here comes Mayberry. Mayberry is 1 for 3. A double and reached on an error. Stottlemyre says, let me get it done here, boss. 6-2 Yankees, Shine Bloom on it first. Can Mayberry get maybe a run in for the Royals? Stottlemyre with the pitch. 1-6, walk five, and that's ball four. And now Stottlemyre has walked the next two. And now the batter is Pinella. They say, Stottlemyre says, let me pitch. I can get it done. I'm due to lead off the inning. Shine Bloom on it second. Mayberry on it first. Pinellas three for three, though, today. Two singles and a double. Fans here at Municipal Stadium hoping Pinella can get it done. Stottlemyre is getting in there. He's getting tired. He says, I can do it. Stottlemyre with the pitch. Stottlemyre, 4-3. Error on a throw. Pinella. 4-4. Four, four. Nope. It's a fly ball to left field. 
And Roy White's going to get to that. He'll make the catch and retire the side. No runs, one hit, a couple of walks. But the Royals strand two more base runners. 6-2 after 7. Go to the top of the eighth. Al Fitzmorris will stay on the mound. Pinch hitter coming in for Mel Stottlemyre. He has done his job. So the Yankees will go to the bench. And leading off for the Yankees is going to be Rusty Torres. 211 average, three homers, 13 RBIs. Switch hitter against Fitzmorris. So 6 2 Yankees. As they will go to the bullpen, Fitzmorris will pitch to Torres. Fitzmorris, 5-1, walk, 19 is high. Torres, 2-3, and that's a line out right to third base. Shaw just gloves it, and that's out number one. One down, here's Clark. Clark is 0-3, got hit by a pitch and reached on an error, though. Fitzmorris. 6-1. That's a blank. Clark. 6-5. Base hit. He'll hit that one past the shortstop, and Clark will get the first. That's his first hit of the game. It'll bring up Munson. Munson is one for four. Finally got a hit since coming off the injury. Infield is a double play depth. Clark on it first. Strategy rolls her off. Fitzmorris with the pitch. Fitzmorris, 2-5, strikeout, 6. No, that's just too high. Munson, 3-3, three, three, and it's a ground ball to second base. 2-2-3. Two, two, Shortstop, pivot, Patek, plus 1-1-4. One, one to four. It's a double play. No, the throw will go to first. Clark got too much good speed, and Munson is out. Two down. That does put a run in scoring position. And now the batter is Mercer. They could not get the double play. And now Mercer, the batter, and he's having a heck of a day. Three for four, including a bomb. Two out, six to two Yankees, top of the eighth. Fitzmorris trying to keep this game where it is. Clark on it, second. Here comes the pitch. Fitzmorris, 2-1, wild pitch. Nope, ball one, the 17 is high. Fitzmorris will try again. 4-6, range play, Mercer, 3-4, it's popped up to second base, it's a pop fly ball to second base, Cookie Rojas going into the outfield, his range is a three, and he's got it, two out, side retire, and Rojas had to make that one, or Clark will score, what a play by Rojas, no runs and a hit, for the Yankees, Rojas makes the play on a pop fly ball to second. 6-2 going in the bottom of the eighth. Ed Kirkpatrick leads off for the Royals. Yankees need a pitcher. With a four-run lead, Sparky Lyle is available, but in this case, I think you want to save him just in case for something else. So the Yankees are going to bring out Lindy McDaniel. McDaniel, three wins, a loss, a 2-2-5 ERA. McDaniel does have a one win and one loss in the postseason. So McDaniel coming on to try to maybe close the game if necessary. But McDaniel will pitch to Ed Kirkpatrick. Bottom of the eight, six to two. McDaniel, 3-3, three, three, range play. Kirkpatrick. 5-4. That's a fly ball to left field. Going after that is Roy White. He was excellent. His range is a 5. That is a 5. He'll make the play on the run. One out. White makes a great play out there to take a possible hit away from Kirkpatrick. And now the batter is Shaw. Shaw is 1 for 3. Got a single. McDaniel will pitch. McDaniel, 5-6. Walk 2, and that's ball 4. So he walks Shaw. And now the batter is Rojas. 
Rojas is one for three, a single and an error. Infield double play depth. Strategy rolls are off. Shaw is on it first. McDaniel looking in and now deals. McDaniel, 4-1, walk, seven, match ball four. And now it's again the Royals got a chance with runners on base. And now a pinch hitter coming in for Al Fitzmorris as the Royals have to get bring on go to the bench. And coming on to pinch hit is going to be Bobby Knopp, 237 average, seven RBIs, not a home run hitter. But he's got better average here. So here comes Knopp. The pitcher spot for the Royals is 0 for 3. So Shaw on at second. Rojas on at first. Infield is at double play depth. Fans here at Municipal Stadium know this, is a good, this could be a real, this is a very important opportunity for Kansas City. McDaniel will pitch. McDaniel, 3-5. Wild pitch. Yep, that's a 3. And he throws it over Munson's head. So the runners go on a wild pitch by McDaniel. And you're still going ahead and pitching to Knopp. You're not putting him on base. You're not putting the tying run at the plate. And the infield is going to stay back. They're not going to play in as the runners on base don't mean anything here. So they'll keep the in, they'll keep the inning back here. So if they don't, so a ground out, Shaw will score. So McDaniel will pitch to Knopp. Now 6-2, to two. fans here at Municipal hoping for a good hit. McDaniel with the pinch, 1-1, one, one. error on a throw. Knopp, 2-2, two, two. that's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit, that ball is hit to Gene Michael. His error rating is an 8, that's a 10. He will not make an error. The throw goes to first for the out. Shaw will come in to score. Rojas, base running rating of 3. And he will, and he will hold at second base. Two outs, but it's now six to three. So a grounder to short does allow Shaw to score. Rojas cannot move to third. And now two away, six to three ball game. Here's Patek. Patek two for four with two singles. Rojas on its second, could not move over to third on the six. McDaniel will now pitch to Patek, but now a 6-3 to three ball game. Royals still have a chance. McDaniel looking in on Patek. Strategy rolls are still off. McDaniel, 3-2. That's a pitcher result. Righty, 1-7's to seven's and out. The 13 is high. Patek, 5-6, and he chops it right back. A comebacker to McDaniel. McDaniel will get it and toss it over and end the inning. One run. On no hits, actually. Two walks and a wild pitch. Six to three after eight. We go to the top of the ninth. Yankees leading 6-3. Roy White leading off for the Yankees. He is one for two. A single, a walk, and got hit by a pitch. Coming on to pitch for the Royals is going to be their their best pitcher out of the bullpen, and that is Ted Abernathy. Three wins, four losses, five saves, a 1-7-0 ERA. Abernathy has two holes in the postseason. So Roy White leads off. 6-3 Yankees, top of the ninth. Fans here municipal hoping Abernathy can keep it where it is. Abernathy, 4-4, blank, white. 4-2, base hit, center field. White gets a leadoff single. As usual, I bring in a reliever, and he gives up a walk or a base hit. Here comes Bloomberg. Bloomberg is 0 for 4 today, reached on an error. Infield, a double play. Abernathy will go ahead and pitch. Abernathy, 5-3, that's at the park. Municipal Stadium. 6-2, and it's a ground ball to third. 1-0-1. One, one. Second base pivot. Patek plus one is a two. A one to two. They turn it. They got it. Two down. 5-4-3 double play. A race is a chance there for the Yankees. 
It'll now bring up Collison. Collison is two for four, a single and a bomb. Two outs, 6-3 Yankees. Abernathy trying to keep it where it is and hope for some ninth inning magic. Abernathy, 1-3, strikeout, three, swing and a miss. Struck him out. He got Collison, and that will end the inning. No runs and a hit for the Yankees. And we go to the bottom of the ninth, 6-3 in favor of the Bombers. But will we see some ninth inning magic? It is now a save situation. The Yankees will go ahead and bring out Sparky Lyle. 9-5, and five, 35 saves, a 1-9-2 ERA. Lyle has a record of one win and a save in the postseason. He'll face the part of the heart of the order for the Royals. Amos Otis leads off here in the bottom of the ninth. He is 0 for 4. Fans here hoping for some ninth inning magic, but Sparky Lyle not easy to do. But Otis will lead off. Lyle with the pitch. Lyle, 3-6. That's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 2-1. And it's a comebacker right back to Lyle. Lyle will go ahead and toss it over. And that's the first out. Next batter is Shinebloom. Shinebloom is 0 for 2 with two walks. Looks like our streak of four straight uh, extra inning ball games is probably going to come to an end. Good. Lyle. One three strikeout. 17 is high. Shine Bloom. Three two. And that's a line out right to the shortstop. Michael gloves it two away. And now the last chance for the Royals is John Mayberry. Mayberry is one for three. Doubled, reached on an arrow, and walked. Two away. Six to three Yankees. Lyle will go ahead and pitch to Mayberry. Fans here hoping Mayberry can keep it going. Lyle with the pitch. Lyle, 6-6, six, six, strikeout. 16 is high. Mayberry, 5-6. It's a base hit to right field. Mayberry keeps it alive. Mary get, Mayberry gets his second hit of the game. It will bring up Pinella. Last double play, 5-4-3. It could be. Maybe a 6-4-3 double play. That's okay. Either way. So Mayberry on it first. Here comes Pinella. Pinella's 3-4, for four, two singles and a double. Pinella has to get on base for a chance for Kirkpatrick. Two men down. Lyle will pitch to Pinella. Strategy rolls her off. Lyle, 3-1 against the righty. Strikeout, 6 Swing and a miss. Strike out. That's your game. Yankees are going to go ahead and tie this series up. A 6-3 to three win over the Royals. This series is tied at 1. Stadium groans. <sighs> no runs and a hit for the Royals. As Sparky Lyle will wind up with a save here. And it was a 6-3 to three win for the Yankees. This series is tied at one. We're definitely going five games. Big victory for the Yankees as the Yankees-Royals rivalry that, that, that we did have historically in the 70s being replayed out here for 1972. And our streak of four straight extra inning games comes to an end. Finally. Final line score coming up. For the Yankees, six runs, 11 hits, two errors. For the Royals, three runs, nine hits, two errors. Pretty ugly game out defensively. The winning pitcher is Mel Stoudemire. He's going to go to 2-0-1. Oh, 
Dick Drago is going to take the loss, a tough loss. He'll go to 0-2. No hold from McDaniel, but Sparky Lyle will get his second save. So that is a victory here for the Yankees. This series is tied up in one piece. And we now go to three straight games for the Bronx at Yankee Stadium. And we all know anything can happen there when the Yankees play at home. So hopefully you'll join us for those games there. Tomorrow night, game two of the National League Championship Series. The Houston Astros against the Chicago Cubs. The Astros lead that series one game to none. It will be Larry Durker going for the Astros and Burt Hooten going for the Cubs. Cubs know they got to tie that series up before heading to the Dome. And the Astros, if they take a 2-0 lead, the Dome has been very good to them. Who knows what will happen tomorrow night in the NLCS. Astros and Cubs, Durker and Hooten, be there or be square. Jimmy Jam, Philip Reynolds, Phoenix Knight, Dan Atkins, Funk and Boxing TV with Sir Ron 61, Joel Turney, Phoenix Knight, Steeler Fan, Sports Time Machine, Vita Productions, Jim Connell, Jimmy Jam, Joe and Pico, Brian Patterson, and Brian B. Thank you all for joining me today. Please leave a like on your way out the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so. And make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Yankees go ahead and get the win here. A 6-3 to three victory. This American League Championship Series is tied. One game to one. See you tomorrow night.